Now we need to find limit of this value. Here n tends to infinity. This we have. Okay. Now if we combine these three, okay, and these three, and this is the n term of this. You can see when n equals to one, when you substitute n equals to one here, three minus two is what? One here, and then here three minus one is here. You have two. And then when n equals to 1, you have first term. So when n equals to 1, this first term, when n equals to 2, you will get this second term. Okay. So therefore, what we can do is this sum as limit of n tends to infinity. All this is summation of this term. Okay. Here summation of 3n minus 2 plus 3n minus 1 minus 3n. Okay. Yeah, and then 3n, 3n gets cancelled and upon now if i take n square outside so if i take n square outside square of, i have to send n raised to 4 i have to divide n raised to 4 in, inside a square so 2 plus 4 n cube plus 3 upon n raised to 4 minus here here i will get n square and square root of 1 plus 5 upon n here we will get n cube plus 4 by n raised to 4 okay this ms limit of n tends to infinity over here what we have summation of remember summation of n okay n term is what we have n into n plus 1 upon 2 we have okay so what we have is we have here summation of 3n minus 3 okay and upon hold this okay and this is ms limit of n tends to infinity here if i take this ms 3 into n summation of n is n into n plus 1 upon 2 and then 3 into here we have n okay upon here denominator what we have is highest power is n square over here okay in the denominator also we have here n into n is n square so it is already from infinity to infinity okay so when n tends to infinity what we have is we have we'll have only root 2 okay here we'll have only root 2 whole become other become 0 and then minus square root of 1 is 1 okay and what we have over here is only we will have 3 by 2. So we have 3 by 2 upon square root of 2 minus 1. You can keep like this or you can rationalize here root 2 plus 1 upon root 2 plus 1. This same as here a minus b into a plus b is a square to do the here 2 minus 1 is 1. So 3 by 2 square root of 2 plus 1. Okay. So this is the required answer.